So I have two categories of empties today. It is the ones that I buy all the time. Like I have repurchased and repurchased and repurchased some more. And then I have a couple that were either new and they was I, they may or may not have just worked with me or I'm just not product specific in that area or they were tried and true back in the day. And I just, I've, I've moved on, but you guys might find them appealing. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Please like and subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I have a little bit of everything. You know, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it sections because I don't have that much. So let me start with hair care. <laughs> <laughs> long pause and I say hair care because I mean she's growing she's trying she she's trying to grow on y'all okay y'all I was bald bald in what Jan January last year maybe I don't know but it's growing so I want to start with the now guys these look really nasty oh they're white and y'all can see them you know what my whole setup is trying to get so much better because there was a time well, y'all couldn't see why things, but look at that. Ooh. Y'all look at this. Look. I can't get my life together. Um, so this is the TGIN. This is Miracle Repair Curl Protein Reconstructor with black honey biotin. Oh, it says it in another language as well. Guys, I love love this. First of all, TGIN. Whenever people are like, oh, what do you put in your hair? And I'm just like, y'all know my hair do this naturally, right? Like, I'm not saying nothing about anybody with different texture hair, but I could put nothing in my hair and it would still do this. And people usually know people who have naturally curly hair. Like, we've been doing this natural girl thing for a while. But I always send people to TGIN because it's good for all hair types. TGIN or um, oh, what is it called? The Main Choice. Yes, absolutely. My two favorite brands. So I uh, just saw these. These were new and I use them up, guys. I use them up. So this one, I want to say is like a deep conditioner. It smells so good. Yeah. And I use this first because I don't use a dime size. It's, it's like a gallop. Um, and then this one is a leave-in conditioner. Uh, TGIN is actually the only leave-in conditioner that I use for my hair because their formulas are so light. It doesn't weigh down my hair, but it does moisturize. So if you are looking for something good for your hair, regardless of the texture of your hair, whether we have B, no, no, not B, two, three, or four type hair, definitely give TGIN a a go, go around because it's worth it. <laughs> so sticking with hair, guys, this is usually always in, <laughs> this is usually always in my empties. This is the Carol's Daughter Leave-In Conditioner Spray. So I have kind of gotten away from this. Usually I have like two or three of these. They're about 12 bucks. They're good to have. I will probably start picking these up more again for Octavia Renee's hair, just because it's super easy to refresh her hair with these. For me, I just make my own. A little water, a little conditioner, a little leave-in conditioner. Uh-oh, Tay-Tay's woke. I thought I heard the baby cry. You wanna come be in my video? Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> It was not the baby crying. Yeah, see how fast I jumped up? <laughs> so, I love that leave-in conditioner. If you have short hair and you just need something really quick and easy to refresh your hair, that stuff is amazing. It has like two or three different uh, flavors, scents or whatever, but they're all good. So, keeping with Carol's daughter, I have this... I'm not getting them no more, okay? That's not my light. So, keep it with Carol's daughter. I have this. This is the Rasool Clay Active Living Hair Care Enriched Conditioner. There we go. So, guys, what this is for, this is for people. It says overworked and overwashed hair. I know all of us curly girls 
live in that category. This is for people who work out a lot, who sweat a lot, who have to refresh their hair or wet their hair or wash their hair a lot. I love this stuff. I use this all the time. I do appreciate that it comes with a pump. I wish it did come in a little bit bigger, but it still works. And it's so thick. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a little bit still right here, you know, it's so thick and moisturizing for your hair. It smells amazing. It does great things. Mm. And I got this from Marshalls, $6.99. I want to say this is about 13 bucks in the store. I love when I go to Marshalls and they have all the uh, textured hair products because, you know, I live in an area or I go to a Marshalls in the area that people may or may not use them. So they have, it's like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. So love this stuff. When I saw this there, I had to get it because... I love this before, but if I can get it for half price, of course. Let's see, do I have any more hair care? Nope, nope, no more hair care. So let me move on to body care. So big shout out really quick for Octavia Renee and her products that, that are in the empty. So I still have a little bit of this left. We don't use it as often. It is in a spray bottle because it kind of got her skin together. So this is the Mustella My Micellar Water. We use this when she had baby acne. I do have a video. I will link it down below um, about how we cleared up her baby acne. Her skin is like so smooth. We're still working on the eczema part of it and just the dryness, but no more baby acne, no more breaking out from nothing. Her cheeks are just so smooth and pretty. And I, I'm i telling you, this stuff works weird. It makes them all red. <laughs> but then like the next day or a few days, it's completely drastically different. So if your baby has baby acne, use this. I will also use this now um, if she has a really nasty poop to clean her bottom or if she messes up her hands or something, touching, you know, if I just want to clean her out really quick, I will use these now, so. So next thing for her is the Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy. So I do like this. This kind of has a Vaseline texture. So I will put a thick moisturizer on her. We do use a Eucerin. I have started mixing bio oil with it just because she has hyperpigmentation. And I'm looking for an oil that's going to seep into her skin and help moisturize it. But I like to... Um, kind of seal it in too. So the Aveeno products and also the, what is it called? It's another brand, um, not Eucerin, but I don't know. Um, it's kind of thick like Vaseline. So after I put the moisturizers and oils or whatever on it, I will use something like this to seal it in there and pretty much force it into her skin and not, you know, on the blankets or night clothes or whatever it is that she has on it so this was a little sample size but i am going to get the bigger size because i did enjoy it. and everything smells like oatmeal don't smell like nothing because you know she can't have those things so next for my skin um i'm gonna do the so de janeiro and then i'm gonna go into the bath and body works things that i have so yeah okay first of all this little itty bitty baby one little itty bitty baby one I think I got this with a kit or something. It came, yeah, it came with a little body wash, this, and that might have been it. Y'all, this stuff smells like, it's, it's dealing. Y'all, this stuff smells like the best, the absolute best tropical romantic getaway. Like, I will always use this stuff. The only thing I wish, the only thing I wish is that it wasn't in like this type of jar. So I had to scoop it out with my hands because I do like to throw this in my bag for when I do PT and this be my lotion. Like this little thing is enough to moisturize my body for, you know, a week or two. So I wish it was like in a pump or a little like this, like a spray, like a, I don't know, something that was a little bit more hygienic. Quick caveat, I do have the blue one, the Coco Cabana. This ain't for me, y'all. This stuff smells, I think it's the coconut. I don't know what it is. The coconut, maybe? 
or the praline. I don't know. It is so, it is so strong that every time I spray this, I cough. I cough every single time. It smells good, but it's so strong. I cough every single time. Let me, let me see if it'll happen on camera. <coughs> see? <coughs> oh my goodness. Like I can't breathe. Like literally it's so strong every time. It's cool though. So... I love this though. We'll continue to buy this. And the spray, I have them all over because the, the, that's my favorite like refreshing spray. So keeping up, moving towards Bath and Body Works. I have, uh, I'll just give a shout out to this. This is the Aromatherapy. This one is the uh, Energy Orange and Ginger. We use all of them guys, all of them. My husband loves these. He swears by these. He used them in his bath. He'll um, use them as shower gel if he's tired and needs a little bit of you know, pick me up. The aromatherapy line from Bath and Body Works. Okay, and then I also have two different body butters. So Bath and Body Works for me is about candles, scrubs, aromatherapy, and body butters. And only the shea butter, argan oil, honey type of things. Not nothing fruity, nothing like that. I ain't got time. Mm -mm. But these things are amazing. So this one I got last year, I want to say, uh, during the 75% off sale or whatever. This is Pure Argon Oil Body Butter. It smells amazing. Amazing. It says chestnut and argon. I also got one. It's in a gray container. Oh, they both smell so amazing. Guys, I, I don't think they use them anymore. I think they're discontinued. But this Oh my goodness, I cannot say enough. I love this. And then this is new. This is the Coco Shea Honey um, from Bath and Body Works. It's Cocoa, Buddy, Cocoa Butter, Shea Butter, and Pure Honey. Y'all, this, I, I scrapes, okay? This stuff smells so amazing. I also have the shower scrub in this fragrance. So when I went, they had to buy three, get three free. Of course, nothing that I like is ever on sale. So this stuff was excluded, but it's worth it. This stuff is amazing. And I mix it with bio oil because I'm crazy and I love the smell of bio oil and just what it does to my body. So that combination, guys, superb. So keep it with body, I guess. Um, I do have these two Dove... Uh, deodorants. I like spray deodorants. I prefer them. Dove doesn't make me cough. If I use uh, any of the different ones, they do make me cough, but this one is really gentle. I don't have a flavor preference, but I do like that it has this little thing right here because, you know, when you get out and you put your lotion on and your hands are all wet and you try and put your deodorant on, you can't because the surface is slippery. So they have put this cute little you know, it's all about the details, people. So, I like that. Alright, guys, we're going to move on to makeup. So, I have a really nasty, crusty, dusty beauty blender. N lies. Real Technique sponge. Let me not let me not lie to y'all. Um, guys, I love these. I discovered these about a year ago. They're the only, only, only sponge that I use. I can get four of them from Marshalls for like 11 bucks. Or I can get two of them from Ulta all the time for like 10 bucks. So I really love them. They do expand. They wash really well because I wash them to death. Um, and it's worth it. So that's what I use. This is the one I use today. You see how, how big it is? So yeah. And then after a while, when it becomes hard to get the makeup out, I'll throw it away and replace it. So keeping with makeup, guys, I have one of my absolute favorite um, foundations. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is 112 Cocoa. I usually get 111 as well. I think that's like soft stable, and I just mix them together or just put them at different points in my face. Love, love. This is maybe my third or fourth one. Like, drugstore is stepping up. Okay, so last beauty favorite is this. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Okay, let's just say this. I don't know. It, it works. It does. I will continue to buy it. Here's my brand new one right here. 
I don't have a problem with the Urban Decay All Nighter and all the different setting sprays, but I like how this come out. It don't spit in my face. And when I try to use those other ones after using this, I'm just like, ugh. So I need y'all to be working on these aerosol cans. Well, I'm gonna just stick it with Morphe. So, all right guys, so that is all of my tried and true favorite things. Oh, oh, these little things. I like these little things. These are the Neutrogena single serve, I like to call them, uh, wipes. I use these when I'm traveling or I put these in my makeup bag for when I'm showering at the gym during the week after we work out. So, quick shout out to those. So, things that I used, enjoyed, won't repurchase, but you might enjoy. Let's get into those. So, guys, so sad for me to say this. So I had such high hopes for this and maybe it's my nose, but I don't feel like this smells like the so. Mommy? Yes. Are you see me in my shorts? No, don't. So to me, it doesn't smell like so de Janeiro, uh, Brazilian bum bum cream or the spray or any of that. I don't know. It smells more like clay. So you guys may love it. My niece says it smells just like it. So maybe it's just me. So another quick shout out to this. This is the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Raw Oil. I got these on clearance and I did enjoy them. I had about two or three. I used them up, but I am so not um, specific when it comes to my oil. I just needed an oil, honestly, to lock in the moisture in my hair. So will I specifically go on the hunt for this the way that I go on the hunt for these other products? No, but I did enjoy it when I had it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Decay all nighter. This stuff works, y'all. It works, and I, I did love it at one time in my life, and I actually have another. Like, I have all these setting sprays that are not getting love because they're not in an aerosol container. Like, I'm sorry. I enjoy that mist. So, again, you guys might love this. I know people who this is their tried and true but I just need them to, come on, work on that, that aerosol for me, please. All right, y'all, so this big baby is not empty. It has a lot, it's about half full. And I remember a time in my life when this was the only deep conditioner that I used. I lived by this. When I seen this at Marshall's, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. And then I ended up finding and discovering all these other things that are really great for my hair and moving away from this so if you are new to the game new to natural hair definitely start here this is very moisturizing you don't have to get this huge one but it's always at marshall's it's always at tj maxx it's always available at a discounted rate and it's really hydrating really good for your hair but i personally just have discovered other brands that i love more so it's worth talking about but i am not repurchasing it and then lastly, this is really nasty. This came from like the back, back, back of my cabinet. This is the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. I feel like this was like all these balms, makeup removing balms that are out. This was the first, this was the OG, right? Well, because I am currently using, I think I got the Clinique Take the Day Off and I really love it. All it is, guys, is coconut oil. Like, let's be real. It's coconut oil that you're using to melt the makeup off, and then you're wiping it off with a wipe and then rewashing your face. Okay? But I, it works. It's good. So I have moved away from this, but if you are doing beauty on a budget and you want something that's going to get all your makeup off easily, kind of messily, but super easily, and then you, you go in with the makeup wipe, and then you wash your face with soap, um, then definitely try this. This is really gentle. It's really great for your skin. It doesn't dry you out. Cheers to Pons. I've just moved on. So guys, I really hope my camera is still filming because uh, I don't know because I lost my whole monitor set up. But thank you guys for watching. Go check out some of these brands or some of these products if you've never tried them before because they are worth the coin. A lot of these are really affordable as well because I ain't just throwing my coin out, you know, any, any, anywhere. But thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye.